All right, so let's talk about networks, home networks specifically, right? You either have wi uh, wired Ethernet or wireless uh, Wi-Fi, correct? So what if you want the absolute best connection to a PC, computer, what have you, any device really, um, in your home? Uh, Wi-Fi is the simplest, easiest route to, uh, to do. However, if you want the absolute best um, signal, right? Network signal uh, going to your devices, you're going to need to get a wired connection. Um, just to be clear, we do have, uh, our home is enabled with Google f uh, Fiber. We upgraded, we had the one gigabyte uh, download speeds, and you can run those with the uh, Nest, Google Nest routers. We wanted, I wanted um, the max. I wanted the fastest speeds possible, right? Running a successful, I guess you could say, YouTube channel here, multiple channels, in a home business, stuff like that. So I wanted the absolute best we could get. So we upgraded to the two gigabytes, or two gigabits uh, of download speeds. However, they you are required to get a multi-gig router, Google router. Now, on the back of the router, it has like, I think, three eth no, four Ethernet ports for outgoing wired connections. Only one of them is the full two gig download speed. The other three are only one gig uh, uh, wired speeds. So I wanted two gigs to all my devices. So that means I, and I'm all the way across the other side of the home uh, from the router. So Wi-Fi signal, it was two out of three bars. Uh, Wi-Fi is not a, um, a viable option when, you, when you're streaming and uh, doing stuff like that. So uh, the next option was to, to get it wired. So I wired the home, right? But remember, only one port was the two point was the uh, two gig download speeds. So what did I have to do? Do my homework, and you're going to have to install an Ethernet switch. Not any Ethernet switch. Um, this is a uh, 2.5 gig Ethernet switch, meaning you can run speeds up to 2.5 gigabits per second. Now, not all PCs, um, if you, not all PCs can can handle the two gig uh, download speeds. The majority, I would say 99. Just now, the more expensive, more performance-based PCs have the 2.5 gig uh, um, Ethernet ports on the back. I have too many PCs here. Both have the 2.5 gig Ethernet ports on the back, right? So I wanted the full speed going to these two, but there's only one 2.2 2 gig uh, um, Ethernet port on the back of the, of the Google multi-gig router. So this Ethernet switch, no, they did not pay for this. I paid for this uh, with my own money, um, but I'm going to show you how this works. So this is an unmanaged Ethernet switch, 2.5 gig Ethernet switch, meaning it, it can handle up to 2.5 gigabits per second on the download. Um, and I'll show you, it has one port going in, so I'll take that one port, one, one two gig port on the back of my Google multi-gig router. I ran a wire all the way nice uh, along the uh, crown molding, kind of hit it, right, so you can't see it, uh, along the base border of the doors, up and around, and then into this room. Our guest bedroom, the studio bedroom. So this has a input for your Ethernet for the internet going in Ethernet port, and it has uh, four. So this is a five port, 2.5 gig switch, unmanaged switch, meaning just plug and play. Unmanaged means you just plug it in and you go. A managed switch means you have to download and install software on your PCs to actually tell the uh, 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 switch what to do, right? Basically, so this is the unmanaged switch, plug and play. At least it's supposed to be, and we're about to find out. Um, it's pretty simple, right? So <clears throat> you get the start guide. Now you can mount it, but I'm not going to mount it. it. Has power. This looks like a magnet. And here is. It looks like, I'm not even sure if I'll need this, plug of some sort. And then the switch. 
Now this is a fanless design. Now uh, both of my mini PCs are unplugged, uh, running on Wi-Fi. I'm going to show you the test here. Here's the switch. So you have an inlet here, and then you have four going out. So you can run, you can plug in four devices, even your phone, right? But you obviously need an adapter for your phone. But this will go, this will two gigabits in, and then four ports of two gigabit download speeds. But we're about to install this and test it. Um, looks pretty simple, right? You have a ground here. I don't think... Uh, I'll see if I can run it with no ground, but I will if I have to. You have the uh, direct current DC in. And then you have a, a little switch down here. VLAN default. So leave it on default, but um, let's, let's get it going. Now, let's test the speed real quick before we install it. Just to show you what I'm working, just the difference in the speeds. Now, I want you to look at the ping. Watch the ping. Now, both, now we have Wi Fi 6E, both mini PCs are Wi Fi 6E capable. One mini PC is the, uh, one mini, mini PC is the Minus Forum UM773. And the other mini PC is the Firebat uh, AMD 7. It doesn't really have a name, a uh, model name, it's just the Firebat. It is running a AMD uh, Ryzen 7 7840HS CPU uh, with the latest Intel uh, Wi Fi card with 6C. I think it's AX200 Wi Fi card, I believe. Let's run the speed test real quick. I'll show you what, what, what we're dealing with. So it's not plugged into the Ethernet, right? Let's see what we got. Wow. I have 2 gig download speeds, and I'm only getting 42, 45, 47 megabits per second download speeds. Okay, so it topped out at, what, 120? Well, that's upload speeds. Let's see what we get. And then I'll run my... This is on the Firebat. So we got... This is a 50 megabits per second download speed, 64 upload speed. That's horrible. Wow. So the Wi-Fi card on the Minus Forum UM773 looks really good. The Wi-Fi on the Firebat uh, sucks, basically. Now, those are Wi-Fi speeds, right? Now, you should see a drastic increase. However, that's still slow compared to what we pay for. Um, let me show you here. And the ping is 5 milliseconds. Alright, so check this out. So I'm running it from... There's the Minis Forum UM773 going to this widescreen. And that's the Firebat <coughs> um, running to this PC. So you can see a drastic difference in Wi-Fi uh, performance, but let's go ahead and get this Ethernet switch plugged in, and then uh, we will run the wires to these PCs. So this is the old <coughs> network switch. Port goes in here to the router, <coughs> Ethernet port to the router. And then here to your devices. However, this was only uh, rated at the one gig speeds. <clears throat> As you can tell, you get the flashing light on the left. Right there, and you have that there, green light there, 2.5. Now, it should, one should be green. Uh, we will test. Here's the, here's a, here's a gang of cables. Power. And then... Should be uh, 
We got green, got green, so that's good. Because the green, they have little labeling. It says green means, um, Green means 2.5 gig, uh, gigs. The orange means 1 gig. So we got green there, green there. Green on the going on the outputs. Those two outputs are green, so it's 2.5. And you have green right there. You can barely see it on the input down there on the left. So technically, we should be getting... Now, I don't know why that's yellow. It should be green. Because that one is green at the bottom. There we go. Look at that. Oh, man. Boy, look at that, look at that, look at that. Boy, we are running. We are up and running. My God. Blazing fast internet. Okay. Depending on what device you have, if you run into my issue where you should get more than what you're testing, what you're going to do is simply go search uh, in the search here, type in device manager, or type it right in there, and you'll, it'll bring this up, right? It'll bring this up. Can you all see? Sorry. So what you're going to do, once you bring up Device Manager, go to Network. Is it Network Adapters? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, Network Adapters. And then find your chip, your the the card controller that remember in the network settings when this one has the intel i226v uh network card um so find that in the device manager under network adapters and then double click on that and then it'll, it'll pull up the settings right uh for this device controller so what you're going to do is where is it Resources, advanced, yeah. Then select advanced. And then I was scrolling through these. This this basically controls the card, the controller, tells it what to do. So if you go and find speed and duplex. So select speed. See where it says 2.5 gigabits? It, this was on 1,000 gigabits. Wait, where was it? I mean, it was on, no, it was on auto, it was on auto negotiation. I don't want auto. So you have to manually select the 2.5 gigabits, the full internet speed, because you can limit how much speed you get. So once you hit OK, right, so let's go back and double check it. Advanced, go down to speed. Whoops, we're on 2.5. So hit OK. That's what, I, that's all I changed, right? <clears throat> And then, this is the speed that I got. Cranking. So, that's the that's the key if you run into a that issue. So we're running two point five on both network. I mean, excuse me, on on both devices on the same network, just through that unmanaged switch. Sorry. So um, that will do it for this network. If you have any questions whatsoever, please um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'll try to figure them out the best I can. If I don't know the answer, I'll certainly look it up for you and get an answer for you. So hopefully, um, it, I think that was what, uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to that. That was the cheapest ne uh, unmanaged network switch for the 2.5. They have a ton of network switches, like I said, for the one gig download speeds, even this, right? So this was like 20 bucks. That was $20. But my network won't handle that. So I think the one I got was like 49 It's like 50 bucks. So, I mean, it is what it is. Faster speeds. But we're rocking that right now. So uh, let me know if you got any questions. Hit me up in the comments. And uh, hopefully that will help anybody improve their network.
Peace out.